welcome back to my channel. So today I know I look kind of funny. Um, I kind of did my whole face and then I realized, um, hello, your camera isn't on. Yeah, so that happened. So you're just going to see an eye look today. I'll do another full face tutorial at an, in another video. But today I'm going to do my eye look with the Anastasia Prism Palette. I'm so excited. I finally got this. I've been wanting it for a while. The colors in here are gorgeous. These are the colors. So um, I got inspired. I wasn't sure what kind of look I wanted. I had used a couple of these colors on some eye looks I had created, but nothing like I was like, wow, I really want to film. So I was like browsing through YouTube and I came across um, this girl called Rosita Rodriguez. Um, she kind of did this uh, look using the bright yellow and the black and I was like, oh my God, I love it. So I'm going to try to do that look myself today. So, if you want to continue to see how this look is going to be, please continue to watch. So first off, I'm going to take um, Baby Face Pure, uh, sorry, Baby Face Pore Powder. So I'm going to take this powder with my handy dandy Morphe sponge. Of course, you know I love my Morphe sponge with the little curve here. And I'm going to just line the outside of my eye here like so. And my under eye. So we can bake that because I haven't baked it yet. So we're going to go in to go in with the color Saturn which is right here so the color Saturn we're going to focus in our outer corner and just into our crease Next, I'm going in with Parallel. And we're gonna concentrate that into just our crease area, not so much into our outer corner. Just a little bit, but more into the crease. Now, I tend to tug on my eye a little bit, because if not, I get these little creases in my eyeshadow and it drives me crazy. So, when you get older, your eyes tend to get extra skin. Well, they don't get extra skin. They don't get extra skin. It's just that it's not as tight as it used to be. So, I have to tug a little bit. Going back with that Saturn color again. Now we're going to use the black obsidian, 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 something like that. It's the black color in the palette. And we're gonna just apply that to our outer corner right here. Now I'm just tapping the color, I just put a little bit on my brush, tapping it here and I'm gonna gradually build the black. Cause if you go too, if you put too much on the brush and you don't tap it, or um, if you just put a lot on the brush and then you just stick it literally on your eye, it's just gonna be this big black spot. We don't want that. We want that to kindly, we want that to kindly blend in here into the center. Well, not towards the center, but more towards blend into the crease here because we're gonna do a cut crease here to apply the bright color I'm gonna use. So this is, like I said, more on just the outer corner. We just wanna darken the outer corner here. Wow. 
And with a clean brush, just go over the creased area with it, just to blend that a little bit. Don't blend it too much, but you just want to blend it enough because if, if you go over it too much, it's going to get all mushed there and then it's going to look like a big brownish orange mess and we don't want that. So just lightly go over it just a little bit. Okay. Next, I'm going to take the Naked Skin Concealer and we're going to do our cut a crease. Once I put the concealer on, I'm just going to take a little bit of the Unity here color and lightly just dab it right on here just so it kind of seals it so I can blink and it doesn't go everywhere else. So as of now, your eyes should look like this. So now comes the fun and exciting part. We're going to go in with Sapphire, this bright yellow right here. Ooh, I've been dying to dig into this color since I got the palette. I'm going to use a different brush. It's not picking up the pigment how I want it to. Oh, look at that. Do you see this color? And we're just putting that sapphire right over what we use, our concealer that we use to create our cut crease. So now we're gonna take a little bit of the black. And just kind of buff it into here. Just so there's no harshness there. There's our eye look for the top. So I'm gonna brush away the translucent powder that I put and work on our lower lash line. Of course, Jesse. hello, I forgot my eyeliner. So I'm going in with the NYX Matte Liquid Eyeliner in black, of course. curl these lashes and get them ready for my falsies. First, I'm going to coat my eyes with a little bit of the Maybelline, the Colossal Big Shot Mascara. And what I like to do is take a little bit of mascara again and just connect them.
Now on our lower lash line, we're gonna take a little bit of the parallel color. And then a little bit of that black color towards the end here. And then to highlight the inner corner, we're going to go in with the color Lucid right here. some black eyeliner of course I'm using my obsession my ride or die urban decay 24 7 one I love this I love this one for my waterline and now we'll add some mascara to it Now for my lower lashes, I'm going in with the L'Oreal Double Extend. We finish with our eye look, ladies. before our look is 100% complete, we need to do our lips. So I'm gonna go in with the Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit from Mega, um, from Mega, from Wet n Wild in the color Nudist Peach. I didn't want anything too crazy on my lips because I figured the eyes had enough pop to them. So something very natural and subtle on my lips. You can leave this look like this, or you can add some gloss to it. And I want to add some gloss, I didn't want a matte look. And I'm going in with the Chanel Lip Gloss in the color Syrup. In the color Syrup. And there you have it. Let's zoom you guys back out. So, this is the final look. So it was very exciting to use this palette on camera. I was dying to film with it once I got it. I got it last week and I played around a, few, a little bit with the colors. So I have to say that all the looks I've done myself with this palette the ones I didn't do film, or that I didn't, ugh, the ones that I didn't do while filming, better. Um, pigment on point. Great pigment, all the colors, great. The, the pigmentation is awesome. Um, I didn't get the subculture palette. I really wanted to, but I was kind of like, uh, I don't know because I know that a lot of influencers gave the palette a bad review. Maybe if I get a coupon or it goes on sale or something, or I get a good deal on a website or something with it, I may purchase it, but I didn't want to pick that one up and pay full price, but I wanted the Prism palette so bad because of this yellow color. But it's just this really beautiful 
lemon color. That is the only way to put it. It's this really pretty lemon color. So this is the look that you are seeing today um, using it. But anywho, I hope you guys all enjoyed this tutorial. Like in all my videos, everything that I used on my face will be down below in the description box. Also, please, if you haven't, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed what you saw. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that little notification bell. I'll be posting a wee, a movie, a movie. <laughs> oh my God. I'll be posting a video every week on my channel. I can't talk today. Oh my God. I completely forgot. Hello. I need to set my face. Let's do that with my Morphe continuous setting spray. God, I smell so good at setting spray. Now my look is finally complete. I don't know why sometimes I forget to do that in my videos, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And till next time, darlings, till next time. <laughs>